So I was thinking about big, uncomfortable choices today because I've just made one. <laughs> and big choices, I mean, sometimes it's like, how do you define big choices, right? What is big for one person? Something might be big that's not to someone else. But often the choices that are big affect not just you, right? They affect other people. It's not like, will I have a burrito for lunch or will I have like tostadas, right? It's like, that is not a big choice. <laughs> And so big choices, like sometimes they're, they're really ones that alter like the direction that we're going in to, um, and take us into something that's maybe uncomfortable. So as I was reflecting on big choices today, um, I thought of a dream I had a couple years ago. And all I remember, I don't even remember what year it was, but I remember it was the beginning of a year, right? Like like January, early January. And um, so in this dream, I was standing near the edge of a cliff. And I have a spiritual teacher. I, I was like working more with her at the time. And she was there with me. And she looks at me and she says, jump. And I was like, you want me to jump off this cliff? <laughs> Right. And I've heard I, I had read all the books, right, of India and, and like gurus saying this to people and them doing it or not doing it, just depending on their faith. Right. So in the dream, I'm looking at the cliff and I'm like, OK, you know, and I jumped off. And immediately so I jump off the cliff and immediately here swoops this golden eagle, like giant golden eagle and brings me back to the edge of the cliff. And I was like, oh, I got it. The universe has me, right? I don't have to necessarily jump off a cliff to prove that. But that's like, the universe has me. And she looked at me again and, and she said, jump again. And the second time I was, I was relaxed about it. I was ready because I knew I had the trust that, yeah, the universe has me. God has me, whatever it is you call it. And, and so I jumped off the cliff again, and there comes that golden eagle and retrieved me. And like I was riding its back, not like this, on its claws. And then back to the side of the cliff. And I was like, I am so grateful to have a dream to come show me this. Cause, and, and then like, show me universe in real life that you have me in this. So no matter how uncomfortable it gets, no matter how many, like with this choice that I just made that I'm not ready to talk about, I shed some tears about that. It was challenging. It was like, I am not going to make everyone happy with this choice, which is actually why I've put it off. And I know that it's going to create a greater future for all of us, not just for me, right? I can just sense that. So what choices are you putting off that are big choices? Because you know it's going to impact the course of not only your life, but other people's lives. What choices are you putting off because they're uncomfortable? Because it's like, mm, life is okay as it is. It's fine, right? It's, gr it's great. And what possibilities that do you know are there even beyond this right beyond this good, beyond this fine, right? Would you be able, would you be willing to step into those? And it's okay if it's not the time for you. It's okay to have to look at it more and sense into it more and ask is now the time and all these questions that get really curious. And then when you choose, and when you choose, it, there's a sense of expansion because you know it's the right thing. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I'm doing a class of living a life, like clearing the points of way, the da -da 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 -da, clearing the points of view that are in the way of you having a life that's beyond your dreams beyond what you've imagined.
So let me know your thoughts. Have you ever had a choice that you were like, you knew it was a big choice for you and, and you were on the fence and you finally chose and it was like life opened up to you and you, you really didn't know how the universe would have your back, but it did. I'd love to hear and just post it below or something. Reach out. Thanks a bunch. This is after all social media. And if you would, would you like this or share it or whatever like pops for you? Because of course, the internet gods love it more when you do. All right. That's it. Thanks a bunch. Mm.